Is that a new shirt? Yeah. Actually, uh, I went online and saw if they had um, that shirt that Danny Dufresne had. I thought it was pretty cool. What's it say? Brain Dead? Brain Dead, yeah. Wasn't that the Peter Jackson movie? I think so. Have you ever seen that one? It's pretty fucked up. It is so fucked up. And that's really the only thing you have to comment on my new look. Um, well, I know you didn't change your hair. <sighs> so, um, are those pilgrim shoes? Ah, uh, leather. I guess. Kind of goth pilgrim shoes. Yeah. I don't think they're goth pilgrims. But, Actually, you know. the- <laughs> goth pilgrims, oh my god. <laughs> We give thanks for the eternal suffering. That actually was not so different from their real philosophy. I'm, yeah, was not not that far off. But no, yeah. it's it's like uh, taking a step up the badass level. Yeah, I mean, I was in Agartha, and I found myself standing between a guy wearing a unicorn mask, a speedo, and nothing else. Uh-huh. Uh, a woman in a yellow and green SS uniform. Uh-huh. And someone of indeterminate gender in a blood-soaked spur suit. That does sound like Agartha. And I realized I looked strange with him. Worse than the, worse than the Quizmas line at Comic-Con. Yeah. You know, I swear I saw someone... Another field agent walking up just wearing, like, a giant cup noodle. I'll be on the lookout for that. Like a Speedo, and their, like, head sticking out of the front with, like, kabuki makeup on? Honestly, would not surprise me. But yeah. So, I've been looking around this museum, and I think i figured out how it works now. I gotta have enough information from the bees, and I also think I have to kill enough of the creature first, so I kind of get a a good picture in my mind of them. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of like a literal mind palace. Basically, yeah. That's that also does not surprise me. Because okay, let's see what happens when I use this thing. There we go. That was a neat effect. I could, like, see the, uh, the the magic pouring out of your brain. Yeah, it's kind of cool. This isn't me doing magic. Well, no, I mean, but it's... Just remind, it just reminded me of that, you know, mind reading magic from Harry Potter, you know? Legilimens? Legilimens? I think so. It's either that or Oculimens, and I can't remember which. i sure it's Legilimens. Leg- Probably, yeah. But yeah, look at this is what the zombie hulks look like up close when they're not trying to kill you. That's that's a weird pose for it to be in, though. I mean, you you, you can't see any of its core. It worked hard in its core. Yeah, I think that's probably has to do with me, you know, not having a perfectly clear image of them. Mm. Yeah, they they were always trying to kill you. So maybe if I get a better look at them, I'll be able to you know better picture them. See, these are the fast zombies. See, that's another weird pose. Like, you'd think you'd have them in a running pose. You'd think so, but I think it's like trying to cover up with parts that I don't know very well. I suppose. I think this cost is a little more expensive, and... Yeah. That's going to take a while. Wow, that's... Well, let's, let's be on the lookout for a shambling bear. I mean, I already killed one. Oh, that's true. Could always be a worse bear. There's always a bigger bear. Wait, go back. Did you have the statue updated? It kind of automatically updates every time I go in. Really? Yeah. I'm just picturing you staggering home drunk one night and just walking in and looking up at the statue. You just... No, stop right there, bees. 
We see our kind sweetling building mausoleums to history. We see the British Museum. Down in Temple Court, we see a nearby department of that institution, the British Museum of the Occult. But look, the doors always seem locked. The exhibits always seem closed to the general public. It has always been this way. It can't have literally always been that way. Uh, well, in the secret world, things may have always been that way, but not always been that way last week. Oh, God. Yeah. It's best It's best not to ask questions. I mean, if you can even remember that, you're in too deep. Hmm. Speaking of in too deep, mm-hmm. I've been meeting with this nice demon. Oh, dear. Well, okay, so they're not technically a demon. <sighs> they're kind of like a homunculus made to be somebody's very bizarre vision of what an incubus is supposed to be. Oh, oh, God. Reminds me of the time I spent in Second Life. So, a sex homunculus, basically. Yeah, they're a shapeshifter, too. Okay. I Are they, like... I mean, are they, like, sentient, or do they... they... Yeah, they're sentient. They, uh... Oh, God, that's... They kind of feed on sex, and um, but they also don't want to, like, hurt people. One of those things. Yeah. This this is real life, right? Not, not in that game you're playing on your phone? No, no, but the parallels are uncanny. Yeah, they are. But, I mean... Uh, my only problem is every time I talk to them, I can't... It... A little overwhelming. You know, a little overwhelming, yeah. <sighs> Can't carry on a conversation very long. Have you tried, like. Local bounty detected. Initiating. Wearing a hazmat suit. Hmm, I don't have a hazmat suit. I'll think about that. Yeah, or, you know, some kind of thing. Like, that's what Superman does when he's kryptonite. So, are you saying that sex demons are my kryptonite? I mean. The evidence speaks for itself. <sighs> Maybe not your green kryptonite, but probably like your red kryptonite. Because it makes you do weird things. And, nobody talk- and we don't talk about pink kryptonite anymore. No, we do not. I was going... I also remembered... Uh, I think I got distracted by the Krampus. As, as you do. There, but there was something up here I need to get. Oh yeah, there was that safe... Uh, in the, you found the combination too. Yeah. Go away, bugs. Now we can open the air shield and steal all the oxygen from planet Druidia. That is not as obscure a reference as it should be. No. You know, I just realized that, like, two Star Wars movies back back to back at, like, obscure Spaceballs references. Because, like, huh. like, Rogue One is all about finding the combination to open the air shield. And this one, I mean, not a spoiler if you or anyone who may be listening hasn't seen it. One point the main characters are arrested for illegal parking. Oh my god. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. God, the new generation of nerds. So, so fucking nerdy. I, oh my god, I can't remember the, the code. Oh, uh, I... I was being sarcastic. Oh, okay. Quick access inventory updated. Writing is planned by a DD, Danny Dufresne. Mm-hmm. Always remember where your sacred weapon handed down to you through the league is stashed. These weapons hold a power. Oh, wait, hold on. These weapons hold a power! Ow, oh, my ears! <laughs> Just like they did for our founding fathers. BR, the stake, wrapped in cloth and buried under the Dream Quest sandpit. DS, firecrackers, kept in plastic at the old pond. JM, Devil's Own Cocktail, locked in a tin at the baseball pitch. DD, Slingshot, hit this at our old fishing spot. Always be ready, always be prepared. I'm thinking, I don't know any of these names. Any of these initials, but then again, yeah. I think most of them are dead. I mean, yeah. <sighs> well, let's... That's sad. 
But you see, let's figure out... I mean, these kids were somehow able to kill a Wendigo. I mean, sure, it's not so hard for me, but I kind of have advantages these kids not, didn't. Well, th there is a certain... I, I'm not sure what you call it. Let's say, like, a statistical tendency for groups of children to be able to take down supernatural creatures. Huh. I mean... Special assignment received. Initializing. I've read enough King and Cree to see that. Well, who's King? I never heard of him. No, no. He's is he like an he's like a local guy or? I mean, he's also he's like a. Cree is an artisan, you know. Yeah. King is a factory. Oh, okay. He's like one of those book people putting out things on Amazon about getting fucked up the butt. Ah, uh, those are under a zero now. <laughs> so they buried this in the sand pit. What's um? Let's see. Let me dig here. Hmm. Oh shit! The fog did not stay long. It retreated out to sea, and the people followed. Everything was echo-riddled silence as the unfortunates chased the vapor. Cars sat running. Dinner sat cooling. Playground roundabout spun empty. With no panic and no sound, they calmly walked into the cold water. It wrapped around the island, and the fog and silence held eliminable dominion over all. Initiate the Pied Piper melody. Okay. That was a golem. That was a golem. In the sand pit. In the sand pit. Guarding their... What is it? We're not even pull out of here. What was it like a, sl a, sta it's a, a wooden, wooden stake. stake? Yeah, it's just a wooden stake. There's, it's, it's even kind of, it's kind of rotted. You know? Really? Ugh. Also, can I just say, even this is the Dream Quest sandpit. Even the the nursery schools in this town are references to H.P. Lovecraft. Wow. What even the fuck? Who does that? There's a pond here. Okay, so like, this is a saltwater pond. Like, briny. Weird. I have questions about that. You think it was like that before? I don't know. Alright, let's dig up this thing. What's here? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jesus! I say, yeah, it probably was. This is a, holy shit, that's got, like, coral and barnacles growing on it. It's made of maggots. We look closer. It's made of maggots. And bees, and... I mean, well, it's made of, like, nothing. Just baggots and shit. Did you say baggots? Okay. I said maggots. You said baggots with a B. Oh, I have a baggie here, okay? Of soggy firecrackers that, you know, will never light again. Okay, come on. Even even as a kid, they had to know that wasn't the best hiding spot. Ah, jeez. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'm starting to get an idea that maybe it wasn't these objects that let them beat the Wendigo. Just saying. I mean, you think the kids would be a bit more direct about it. Because fucking golems! Oh shit, what the fuck? Where'd they like even- how did, how did they even make this? Out of rebar and concrete. How did they even move the pieces? With their tiny little children arms. I don't know, but you know what? I, I'm gonna- It's just a Molotov cocktail. I mean, I mean, like it's just not. It's not even. It's not even like a, like a moose Molotov. I mean, is it even a Molotov? It's just in a tin can. Well, it work. It'll work. I mean, but seriously, this is just. This is not. Okay, I wasn't even surprised. Oh, what even? <sighs> I don't even know what that what that's made of. Mud. mud. Oh. But like really filthy mud. 
I mean, there's a lot of craftsmanship going into, like, the mouth there. This is a... Okay, so you know what? I'm calling it. They had magical help. I would not put it past them. Hmm. They had magic. This is what happens when kids play with magic. They save the world from monsters? Uh, well, I guess. <laughs> I guess, dot JPEG. Seriously, though. That's how the cool kids represent memes in verbal communication. But yeah, what? Eesh. When I was a kid, we never got to play with the Dark Forces. So, I'm just got a hunch, but, um... What's up with that... What is that Innsmouth Academy over there? I don't really know much about it. Uh... Well, I mean, to be honest, it's a bit of a mind pay grade, too, but I, I know that, like, our fingers are just way up deep inside of it. Just you know, Th that came out the prostate. I see that that came out wrong, but it's basically true. <sighs> We're getting re <laughs> getting right to the heart of the bottom of it. Hello. Either you've chosen as bad a time as any for a long weekend upstate. Or you're here to do a day's work in the name of whatever master holds your leash. In that case, you've come to the right place. But you're not the first to come looking. Hate to break it to you, my friend. We've had all sorts skulking about. Illuminati, Templars, Dragon, Phoenicians. Ah, oh, Phoenicians, really? There's always the Phoenicians. They smell power. They want to Wherever there's them. money to be had. Mm-hmm. Fishermen. Are they pirates? They're shore. basically pirates, yeah. Are they the cool kind of pirates? Not in any respect are they cool. I mean, they're, they're kind of like, you know, the modern Somalian kind of pirates, only without, like, being underdogs. rookies. I get Deadwood here. He has a waterproof tent and hot food. I get dank cellars and animal crackers. At least I get to play with more than rotting corpses and pale ghouls. There are strange bitch, things bitch, going on bitch, and why? Jesus Christ, guy. Born of an evil man and the souls trapped inside, are screaming to be let out. Heaven and hell are both in the hearts of men, but water too pure has no fish. We need evil for good to exist. My advice to you: Water too up, pure has off, no fish. Not what? A place. And whatever hides here. Did he just call me dirty? I think he did. To know the road ahead, they say. Well, fuck you. Coming fuck back. you. But if you come across fuck body, you hard. Really no fuck you sideways. Place. Fuck you and your You'll stupid deep V-neck. It's a deep V neck. Mm -hmm. It was a great idea. Gather the secret societies, form a council, protect the mundane civilians from the secret war, mitigate the damage, avoid esoteric mega disasters. Fury mutates in the half-light. The road to ruin is paved with good ideas. Ideas are easy. Execution. Now that will kill you. Ah, uh, oh, I see, I see what they did there. Execution will kill you. I see what they did there. I am going to be disappointed by this. I got nothing. Thank you, Krampus. All right, wait. I got these. Cr I got these uh, fireworks, though. Ooh, let's light them up. There's a note that says, "I hear your favorite gifts are flares." Well, well then, have all the flares you can stomach. A present from me to you. 
Pro, 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 pro. Krampus. Oh my god, did they hear us talking about the flares? Maybe. That's creepy. Let me see what this happens to light it. Yeah. Okay, I am lighting it now. Oh! Oh! De Debbie? Yeah! Okay. I feel like one or both of us should have seen that coming. What? I said I feel like one or both of us should have seen Wait that coming. Minute. You're in my brain. Why can I why would I not be able to hear you? I don't know. The Krampus is tricky. Oh look, Dad Rochi. Take a shot. I really should have seen that coming. Krampus does not give good gifts. Is that better or worse than the dirty panties? Well, considering it involved injury, probably worse. Yeah. The dirty panties led to an interesting conversation. Please. Dederochi. Take a shot. <laughs> no thanks, I'm trying to quit. Uh, a bad time on Thirsty Thursday? Yeah, you were, you saw that. I I saw a little. This telling me telling you whatever I'm sure remains of the Wehrmacht out there. Fight, come fight me. Yeah, I mean that was that was brave. <laughs> Stupid but brave. Yeah. Do they? Uh, I mean, are there any? Are there any left? Actual like old school? Uh, they're hard to wipe out. Yeah. You know how when you're wiping oh, and God you're wiping and the toilet paper just keeps coming back. It's like, Stop that metaphor! God! Oh! I'm just saying Nazis are shit. No. It's Phoenicians. Oh God! Oh shit! There's three of them. Are you okay? Actually, yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. No, I'm not okay, but I'm, I'm better. Mm. I'm better than I was. 